Hi guys, I thought I'd do a video on my top five favorite anime, going from the lowest, which is my least favorite, to the highest, which is my most favorite. Um, although I have a lot of Dragon Ball stuff, even the movies, um, right now Dragon Ball is at the lowest of the list. Uh, because I started watching that when I was really little. Um, about around the time GT was coming out, and GT wasn't the best of the anime. Some people don't even consider it canon anymore. Um, but yeah, I like Dragon Ball because of the, the combat, the extremely ripped physiques, uh, the, um, motivation and workout sequences. It really motivated me as a little guy to get bigger and stronger and, um, you know, not be bullied anymore. Um, so yeah, the fourth one, which would be a little higher, would be, uh, Baki the Grappler. This is an extremely violent, gory uh, fighting series in which there's a, a little kid named Baki, he's about 12, 13 years old, who is basically the son of the world's strongest creature. They don't even call him man, they call him a creature who, can bas who basically is training to be get on the same level of, of his dad and beat his dad. And there's a, a lot of violence within the show. Um, my favorite character has to be the anti-hero of the entire show, which is his dad, Yajiro Hanma. This is the extremely ripped uh, demon back. And just the, the grotesque violence that this guy shows. He's like, if um, one coward is the same as a hundred cowards, like... It makes no difference to me. He literally made the uh, U.S. government bend to his will with nothing but his bare hands. Uh, like, stop the Vietnam conflict with his bare hands. Took out an entire polar bear by himself with one punch. Um, like, Yujiro is nothing. Yujiro is just a straight beast. Um... But yeah, my next anime would be Devilman Crybaby. Uh, this is a also a very violent show. Has some nudity in it. Uh, it's basically about this kid who is basically adopted by his best friend's parents, and he basically um has a demon inside him that gets unleashed at this nightclub and it literally kills all these other demons and the show just like literally the spirals down from that basically becomes about the apocalypse and uh him trying to save his friends and everything and it's just an extremely violent show and very sad if you if you watch all the way towards the ending um for that would be Berserk, which is about guts, and um, he's basically a swordsman, swordsman who was uh, trained from very little to become this very strong, violent warrior. Uh, it's more focused on swordplay than actual combat. Um, search up like a. Uh, Guts versus a hundred men in the forest. It's like an amazing like if if you like Wolverine, you'll like Guts Berserk. And it gets extremely dark and twisted towards the end of the series. And the series is still going. They're still making more. The manga's still being written. Um They're even thinking about adding on to the Netflix adaptation. But uh yeah, this is a great show. And I enjoy it because it's more based on 
the world doesn't really need a hero. What it really needs is a monster with only certain motivations. Like, you can tell Guts is a good guy, but at the same time, he doesn't really give a crap. Uh, like, if someone weak enters his life and dies, he doesn't feel bad for for them because it's their fault for, you know, messing with them in the first place. So, like, like uh, one good example is when uh, an old man and his daughter basically pick up Guts on the side of the road and they start being nice to him and giving him food and stuff like that. Then all these demons come out of nowhere because he has the brand on his neck. And uh, the demons, you know, follow the brand. And they kill the, the daughter and the old man. To which he doesn't care because he, like he literally, you know, says. Um, it's their fault for entering his life that got them killed. If they're not strong enough to stand up for themselves, then... He's not going to freaking worry about it. Um, and then, my most favorite anime series, which is probably going to get its own episode. I'm going to review it. Um, it will be Todd McFarlane's Spawn. Uh, it's about three seasons long. And if you don't know about Spawn, then it's really about this uh, assassin. Uh, named Al Simmons, who is has history's highest kill count ever. Uh, he gets betrayed by his best friend and his business partner, Jason Wynn, and they basically set him on fire. He dies, goes to hell, and uh, sells his soul to the devil, so that way he can seize his wife again. And of course, the devil being the devil screws him over. And he comes back to life with all these mystical powers and stuff. And at first he's like just a straight monster who kills on a whim. He's killing bad guys, but at the same time it makes it seem like he is basically doing work for the devil. Because the more bad guys he kills, the more they go to hell and the more hell's army collects. And Spawn's supposed to be the general of hell's army. Uh, because he, you know, made the deal with the devil, that's what he was going to do. Um, so it kind of makes, it, it makes the good and evil aspect not as black as white as you, black and white as you expect it. Uh, they have, uh, hunters from heaven come down who are extremely vicious and, and cruel in a way. And you think these are supposed to be the good guys. But it kind of makes sense in a sense, like, if you have Genghis Khan and Hitler and all these other people in hell, what you, and they're supposed to combat each other, like, what is heaven supposed to have? A bunch of, you know, bingo ladies? Like, that that doesn't work. So, uh, so you got various sass, good assassins, maybe soldiers that died in wars that are on the good side of heaven coming down to, to fight, uh, uh, Hell's armies, and even Hunt Spawn himself. There's a vampire in the series. There's a giant robot cyborg creature in the series. Um, it has almost everything. It's extremely uh, violent, dark show. And it makes you, at the beginning, it makes you wonder when, like, if you're even watching a superhero. Uh, thing because it, at first it, you think it's a superhero kind of thing, but it's like a s superhero slash horror uh, type of show where it, like mixes and mashes with everything, and it's more a uh, film noir type of thing, like it's new noir type. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. They try to make it with very good movie-like quality, and I really wish we would have a season four, or even more, but, uh, they, they ended it on a good note, I think, and I'm going to make an entire video, a review, on just the Spawn series itself, um, but, yeah, that'd be it, that's my top five favorite anime, uh, I might as well just go ahead and 
show off some of my posters here. Uh, I got most of these at Comic Con, maybe from Loot Crate. There's the spawn posters over there. You can see them. These are actually done by certain artists. I have them signatured. Uh, I shouldn't have put tags in them, but yeah, uh, certain artists at uh, Comic Con who I had uh, write, you know, signature for me. And my uh, Beerus and Spawn action figures up there, along with Batman, Cyborg, Thor's hammer, all my movies, anime related. I guess Detective Pikachu. Um, Pokemon cards that I bought just for the hell of it. And yep, that'd be about it. Um, I don't have any anything animated related over there. Alright, see you guys later.